today's home workout, we're going to be working our chest and our back. We've got a brand new set of eight exercises and we're going to be working for 45 seconds with a 15 second break in between each one. We're going to complete four rounds today guys and for your reference I'm going to be using seven and eight kg dumbbells. As usual we're going to start off with a warm up and finish off with those cool down stretches. Come follow along with me and let's get started. Okay, we're starting off our warm up with opening up the chest. So rotate the arm in front of you, right and left. We're gonna do this five times on each side. And then relax, good. Now tip over, hinge from the hips, squeeze into the shoulder blades and release down. Do this eight times. And then slowly rise up and then open up that chest and then fold forward. Touch the toes, open it up. Six times here. Center. Just turn as far around as you possibly can to the back of the room. And we're just easing off the lower back. Four times on each side. Nice deep breath in. And out. Ready to start our chest and back workout. Let's go. Okay, our first exercise today, we're going to be working our back. We're going to do pull back. So I'm going to grab my 7 kg weights. And the move is slightly bent over, hinge from the hips. And we're going to pull back into the shoulder blades and then release forward. Okay, when you're ready, should we get started? Let's go. We pull back and then back to centre. So really lengthen out the arms. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and pull into the back great work take it nice and controlled make sure it's not too fast back and forward well done just a few more to go Last two, and one, and then release. Perfect, well done, good start. Okay, next up, for our chest area, I'm gonna be using my 8kg weights. Um, you pick up whatever's most appropriate to you, get down to the mat, then you flat back on the floor, and then push from the bottom to the top. Breathe in, and out. If you find the exercises on the first round were okay, but not as challenging, then maybe on the second one you can go a little bit heavier. Let's see how you go first. And make sure you get the technique right. So you're going all the way down, squeezing the chest at the top. Open it up as wide as you can. And push. Great work. Got a few more seconds to go. Last one, and relax, lovely, okay. For the next one, I'm also gonna be using my eights as well, because we're gonna do floor rows. We're gonna keep the weights on the floor, we're hinging forward, keep your hands on them, we're gonna do row, single arm, one at a time. One, two, stick out your bum and keep your back nice and flat. Squeeze into that back. Make sure we're feeling that engagement. Knees are nice and soft as well. Very good control. Rowing up and down. Nice work. Okay, let's go for two more. And then one more. 
and relax. Lovely. I thought those eight pages were perfect. Um, that was a really, really great weight. So give that a go sometime. Okay, next up we're going back on the ground. I'm gonna lighten the load a little bit for the chest flies. Just a little. See how we go with this one on this round. Open it up and squeeze and contract together. Squeeze and contract together. I remember when I used to do these with fours actually. <laughs> so um, now I'm using seven, so progression has happened. And I'm looking to go for eights next time, so maybe today I'll go with eights with you guys. Let me know in the comments what weights you choose to use and what weights you can use. It'd be great. It's no competition, but just really um, useful to know. Last one, let's come out. And then squeeze it back in together and relax. Perfect. Nice. All right. For this next one, we just need one weight only. It's a single arm row. So we're gonna tip over. We're gonna go on the right side. Nice narrow legs. Left hand behind the back. Single arm row. Release it down. Breathe in and out. Keep your back lovely and flat. And row up neutral position. Back down again. Next up, coming up on the... Uh, Lovely little list of exercises we've got today it is another chest exercise. We're going to do push ups. You can do two variations of push ups on your toes or on your knees. So get ready and set your mind to do some push ups next. But keep rowing for the last two more. And one more. And relax. Perfect. Okay, no weights are needed, just your body weight. And then on the next round, we're gonna change arm on that one, so don't worry, I haven't missed it out. Push-ups. Here we go. So, you can do them on your knees. Keep your shoulders in line with your wrist, push down, rise up. And then if you feel comfortable doing them on your knees or you're a bit more advanced, then go up onto your toes, down and rise. So maybe put the hands a bit wider. Really nice and strong on the chest. 15 seconds now. Push through. Great work. Last one. Alright, okay, next one is going to be a pullover, so we're going to work into the lats. I'm going to use the sevens to start, maybe the eights I'll do next round. We'll see. Put them together and pull over the top. Try not to arch your back. There's going to be a little natural arch. Of course there is, but try not to come too far off the ground. Engage into the sides, into the lats. And then pull up. Good work. Keep pulling over. These sevens feel really, really good. Keep focus on one more rep. And then release. Oh, nice. Okay. We're nearly on. We're on our final exercise actually of round one, which is going to be on our front. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring the arms out in front and squeeze back. When you're ready, do a breaststroke position, squeezing back into the lower back. Open, squeeze. Open. Oh, this is non-weighted, it's still really challenging. So lift up your body off the ground. And keep swimming. Just keep swimming. <laughs> Doing that breaststroke. Swim to the end. We're nearly there. <laughs> and two more. Last one. 
Boom. Great job. Okay. So round one is done. We've got three more to complete. Having a 30 second break. Starting back off with those pullbacks. I'm going to stick with my sevens because I like the sevens for this one. It's a perfect weight for me. Maybe on the chest press I went eight, that's good. Floor rows eight, chest flies maybe eight this round. I see. All right, tip from the hips. Let's go round two, squeeze. Some of us may use lighter weights, some of us may use heavier weights, you know. Um, it's all down to your ability, be the best version of you, and then get stronger by, you know, being consistent and keeping the good form and progressively loading over time. You don't have to use big weights, but you know, you get good results when you, have, when you do, as long as you can get the technique one, last one. Ah, release, nice. Okay, felt like my back. Now for the chest press. Laying on the floor. Are you ready? Round two. Push and release. I'd say go two and two. Two up then two down. Two up. Focus on your breathing. Really think to yourself when I'm doing this exercise. Look, out and push from the chest. Great job, 15 more seconds. Nice. Let's go for one more, yeah? <laughs> one more. Ew. Relax after that one, well done. Okay. Back onto those floor rows. I'm gonna show you from the side this time what I'm doing. We place the weights on the floor. Take that hinging movement first. Place your hands on. Back's nice and flat. And then alternating row. Right and left. And also stretching the hamstrings at the back as well, which is good. The knees nice and soft so it's not a stiff leg. Keep breathing, well done. 15 seconds left. Onto our chest fly next. I'm gonna give these eights a go, I think. Shall I? Yeah. I will. And relax, nice. Okay, so I haven't done eights in a while. So. <laughs> Forgive me if I pause, but I shouldn't do. I'll try not to. All right, back up. And when you're ready, let's go out to the side. Slight bend in the elbow, and then squeeze it together. Feel that contraction. Breathe in and out, squeeze it together. Lovely work, so nice and controlled, it doesn't need to be too fast. Give me one more. Squeeze it in and then relax. Nice, yeah, I can do eight. Why not? Okay, next up's our single arm row. So starting, oh, we're gonna, we did the right, didn't we? We're gonna do the left next. So we're gonna do the row on the left. Let's go for it. Nice narrow legs, so we don't hit into our legs. Lengthen down and rise up, just single sides on these ones. Let's get that summer back going. Nice toned upper body as well as the lower. Just a 
few more left. Well done with the hinge. And then release. Great, okay. So our next one is push-ups. We don't need any weights. And then we've got pullovers coming up after that to have them nearby. Let's go onto the floor. Nice wide hands. Shoulder in line with your wrist. Down and push. See if you can get that chest to touch down onto the floor and rise up. Breathe in. And your knees should be slightly apart, not close together touching each other. The further away they are, the harder it is. So if you want to bring them in and go into more of a box press position, this one is slightly easier, okay? Otherwise, go back on your toes if you're advanced. Push down, up. All the way to the end. One more. And relax, yes. Okay. Pullovers next. I'm grabbing my new favorite color, which is green. <laughs> Let's try these greens for the pullovers. Let's go. like in a challenging mood today. Great work. <laughs> Got carried away with that there. I liked it too much <laughs> with the eight. Okay, back to our breaststroke. I'm gonna keep swimming. <laughs> Round two on your front. Let's go. Swim. Squeeze into the lower back, go down, pull back. It was really, really great. Swimming in the air. Okay, 10 more seconds. I'll have a 30 second break before we go into round three. We're halfway there, guys. Oh, well done. Ease off that lower back. Have a little drink of water. And then round three is coming up. Straight arm pullbacks. I'm sticking with the seven. So. Ten more seconds to go. Give it your best technique. Hinge from the hips. And then squeeze in the shoulder blades. Let's do it. And three. This is a standing exercise in one of my other videos when I filmed in Marbella. The Beach Body series. Slightly lighter weights than these. So if you fancy doing a sculpting just back exercise session, then there is one in the description below. That you can also do a slightly lighter weight if you want to. Last one. Oh, chest press time. Once again, I'm sticking with the eights. I keep challenging myself. Let's go. In. Out. 
make sure when you're doing this exercise you go down nice and controlled, open the chest, feel the pull and then push up and contract it back in. Great work, we've got 10 seconds now left. What's coming up next? Oh, those floor rows are coming up next. Good work and relax. Nice. All right, floor rows. Hinge from the hips, hold on to the weights. And then this row. Sort of let's go, let's row. <laughs> Let's roll. Now you should be very, very familiar with this exercise now. So think about the weight, think about the technique. Is the weight challenging enough for you? Is your technique good? You can always fine tune those parts. Last 10 seconds to go. Chest flies are next. And release. Great, let's go back down to the floor. Let's open it up. Chest fly time. <laughs> when we've got single arm row on the right, again, let's go with the chest flies first. Open, squeeze and contract it in. Good job, one more. Oh, beautiful work. Let's put one down and get ready for the right side, single arm row. Legs are nice and narrow as before, knees soft, hinge from the hips, left hand behind the back. Keep rowing, you're getting fatigued now. If you are, then just keep rowing. Keep the technique going nice and smooth. 10 more seconds. And last one. Ooh, great job. Stick that down. And into press up position. First time round. Nice and wide, bring your chest forward and then let's press down and then push up. You get in a little bit fatigued, you can just do it on your knees, but make sure your knees are further back if you're advanced so you get more push into the chest, more weight into the chest and push that chest down so it taps the floor, rising up. Don't forget your breathing. Okay. We've got 10 more seconds, guys. <sighs> Into our pullovers coming up. Next. <sighs> and last one. Well done. Oh, a little stretch back. All right, I'm gonna stick with my eights again, because although they were challenging, they're fine, I'm good with those. Okay, when you're ready, pull over. Back to centre. You're really focusing on where you're working. Power yourself through. Get your moves. Feed yourself, just one more. 
even when it's getting challenging. <laughs> Last one. Oh, oh, back to the centre. Relax. Good. I was saying to myself, just one more. Just in my head there. Not just one more Canetto. Just one more rep. <laughs> Draw that song. One more Canetto. Oh, gosh. That effort. <laughs> oh, no, we're not here to have any Canettos. <laughs> just the gains in the chest and back today. One more round to go after this. Keep swimming to the end of round three. Great work. Oh, 10 more seconds and we're at the end. Back, last one. Ooh. Well done, 30 seconds rest. And the last round is coming up. Ooh. Well done, so far so good. Hope you're really enjoying it. Let me know in the comments down below. Hit the like button now for me. And please subscribe if you haven't already done so. It makes a massive difference to the channel. It really, really does. Okay, last one, last round. Knees are soft, slight hinge, squeeze into the shoulder blades. Just eight exercises to the finish line. Really think about what we're doing now in terms of the mind-muscle connection to finish strong. seconds to go now. One more for the road and relax. Chest press time. Back down on the floor. I have one tear of sweat dripping down my face. <laughs> Just one tear. Not like yesterday's session when we did the uh, the glutes, didn't we? Yeah. We did our glutes and hip flexors. Oh, that's a spicy one. That is a spicy one. Highly recommended if you want booty for the summer. Ten seconds left in these chest presses. And then what have we got next? We've got floor rows. Yeah, actually I think that they're my favourite out of the whole session today, those floor rows. Liking them a lot. Remember to always get up safely. Make sure you bend your knees when you put the stuff down. You don't have any back injuries, so try to strengthen the back. Okay, when you're ready, let's row. Finishing strong in round four. Great job, floor rows. Working into the back. Last ten seconds. Chest flies coming up. Can you increase your weight on the last round? Yes, you can. Let's go down. Safely to the ground. Chest flies. I'm going in with the eights. I'm not going back. 
No going back now. Squeeze it to the end. Breathe it out, squeeze. Good, 15 more seconds on these chest flies. Keep going, remember say to yourself. Just one more. Single arm rows coming up on the left next. And relax, brilliant, brilliant job. I'm so proud of you guys making it this far. Hinge from the hips. Focus on that left arm row. And let's go. Row, row, row. push-ups, then our pull-over, and then our breaststroke. So we've got three exercises left after this one. There is light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Keep it going. A couple more rows for me. Up, and then you can release and relax, nice. So, body weight only, no weights needed. Into those push-ups. If you're feeling a bit tired, just do them on your knees. Bring the knees back a little bit further, and then press down, rise up. Even if you did less reps, but got your chest to the floor and pushed up, that's better than doing lots of mini half reps. So take your time. Chest goes to the floor and then rise up. At the same time, squeeze your core in tight. Good to be able to work the core as well. Last two, squeeze two more and then one more. Oh, great work. Okay, two exercises left. The pullover and the breaststroke. Okay, have a nice stretch. Back into pullover now. Yes. This one for me is the most challenging one out of the session. because I've gone heavier than I definitely used to. So two stuck together, eight so would be 16. It might not sound a lot to some people, but when you're doing them on the floor, it is a little bit harder as well. Oh, let's go for one more, let's go. Oh, <laughs> yes, we didn't stop, we kept going. Okay, last. Exercise. We made it nearly. Just got to swim to the end. Swim to the end. Breaststroke all the way home. <sighs> to the finish line. <laughs> we are at home, aren't we? <laughs> finish line. Breaststroke. Lift up lower back to strengthen your lower back. How many more seconds? Just 10 left. Good. All the way to the end. Nice. One more. Oh, well done. Great work. Clapping on the ground today because I'm so tired now. All right, let's sit back onto the heels. Stretch out that back. Whew. 
what a great session. Just two exercise, uh, two parts of the body that we focused on, eight exercises, which is more than enough, especially when you want to perfect your technique and get stronger. So combine this one with a leg day if you wish, or a core day, or any other muscle groups, if you want a full hour session. Come up and go into cat position here, stretch out the back. The easiest way to navigate around the channels is to go to a tab, an option on the channel, which I'm sure you're already familiar with, but for those who are not, there are, um, there's a tab on, your, on the channel called playlists. And if you scroll and look at the playlist, there'll be many, many videos in there to choose from. And they're all free, which is good. You don't need a gym membership, just work out with me from home. I'll guide you through in this series everything we're doing. I'm a fully qualified personal trainer. So you don't need to worry about not having the qualification. I do have the qualification, I have done for seven years and I still train people one-to-one -one in my facility and in their homes as well. So. I'm still doing that guys, not just doing YouTube. YouTube is a big part of my life though now. Obviously it takes a lot of time to make these videos, um, especially three a week, editing, etc. So just smash that like button and subscribe. <laughs> and stay with me. And I can give you more. Well done. Breathe in. And out. Last one, signature move. Have a happy, happy day. Well done, chest and back. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.